Hi, I'm Kyle. I'm Emino. And you're here with Airbrush Review in conjunction with Pelagons.com. Today we've got a new air gun just to take out and uh, do a 50 meter short grouping, see what it can do, and then we'll tell you what comes in the box and a little bit of pest controlling afterwards. See you in a bit. So I'm on the back of the vehicle here with my little bench stand. I've got the 0.25 JSB Hades and I'm using the V2 Crony from FX. Really works quite well, it's very small. I've got the 10 rounds in a magazine, so basically you get two rounds with the air gun, uh, two magazines, uh, 10 round each. In the box you get a couple of other nice goodies like a single shot tray and a quick coupler in the front which is quite nice it's not anymore um, the Reximax quick coupler it's a normal standard one so without further ado let's do a five shot grouping quickly at 50 meters Your 874 with these 25.39's is pretty good but let's look how the accuracy looks 800, to be honest, that's 70. on top of each other. It's a 425cc tank in the front here, which yields about 120 shots, they say, which is quite a lot of shot count, standard. <clears throat> Got an adjustable cheek piece in the back. Wow. The barrel length is 380 millimeters which is quite short you know um, although it does look quite long but uh, it's got internal baffling that's why I don't have a silencer in the front so it's quite quiet goodness that's wild guys unscoped it's about 3.5 kgs wow 870. 870. It sounds like this gun has got a, this air rifle's got a, um, a regulator in it, but it doesn't. So you see how consistent it is. Um, the safety is right here. Trigger's quite nice and smooth. It's got a match style trigger on it. And uh, yeah, you can get an additional silencer adapter if you want to put it in the front. But like I said, I'll show you on the screen, it's got its own silencing abilities on the inside. So I've got the Vortex Diamond back, it's the 6 to 24 by 50 first focal plane. You can see lacquer, clarity is awesome, it really works well together. I'm just going to zero it in and um, take it from there and then we'll go see how it does on uh, pest controlling and we'll talk a little bit more about this air gun. See you in a bit. All right, walked all the way here to 50 meters. It's about 54 yards. Have a look at that grouping, guys. Five shot grouping, the wind is blowing. I don't know if you can hear it through the mic, but yeah, um, that's pretty good grouping with the Acura 0.25. Um, I must say, it's got a lot of power. It's gonna be a nice tool to use today um, to take out these uh, pigeons and doves. So we'll check what we can get. Um, it's very hot. Out here in South Africa, let's go see what this thing can do with the pest controlling. So I'm pretty keen, everything is there. I just reshot it here on the top to get it into place because, as you could see, I was that's my aim point, that was my grouping. So basically, I just took my crosshairs right and a little bit down. Now it's spot on, and uh, yeah, let's go see what we can do. Pretty keen, this air gun is very, very accurate it doesn't feel like a 3.5 kg air gun it feels very lighter than that um, basically you can adjust your cheek piece if you need to up and down which is quite a nice feature and then your butt pad you can also adjust in or out or up and down like that but anyway let's get to the fun part see you now more loop
Wow, guys, I was about 30 meters from here, um, took him out, boom, these um, Hades, <laughs> they really love the hunting scenario, so there's another one on the roof, we'll quickly see if I can get it into focus for you guys. So you guys can actually check. There we go. Oh, you see, it took a little bit too long. But um, we'll just wait for more to arrive and then we'll take them out. That's it, it's about 30 meters, shot it down, really really does a good job um, holding the synthetic stock as you can see here guys, I put it right here in the front, um, my tripod and um, to keep it quite sturdy is the job, that's the thing that you need to work on, I mean it doesn't just come overnight and when you get it sturdy on your target point and shoot and it's there. Very quiet though, without a silencer. I really think it's a it's a good air gun to use it to use it for shooting pests like these. Um, especially in between, yeah, you need to be as accurate as possible, and um, you know you just want to point and shoot. So basically, let me show you. That's it, just like that guys, point and shoot. The wind is blowing from the right to the left through here, that's why I'm holding a little bit to the right, so it curves that um, um, JSB Hades into him. So, seems to like these things, pretty nice. Another one for the count guys this thing is very accurate <laughs> wow as you can see they boom boom right next to each other wow guys <laughs> that, that was about 70 meters took him out no problem whatsoever yeah, I can see him. He's just on the floor here. Yeah? But you'll just wait for another one. As you can see, there's one right there. If I can follow me there, it will go right through him, hit the water back, and then um, obviously spoil our day. So we'll wait for the right time. We will hop off now. Sussing out the situation. And then uh, we'll take it from there. See guys, just like that. You fold him in half.
Yeah, so this gun, I like the pistol grip and the cheek piece and it, uh, it's got quite an uh, impact, so I like it. What a shot. Well done. That was a good shot. We don't record. Yeah, obvious. Okay. Mm. Okay, guys, uh, we had a nice and a fun day today shooting this uh, Rexmac Acura uh, 0.25. So, overall, it's a quite nice uh, gun. Um, it's quite light. That's what I like about it. I like the pistol grip and also the adjustable cheek piece. So yes, and it's also quite quiet when you shoot it. So you actually don't need a silencer, especially when you're on a farm or so, then uh, it's actually not necessary. Thank you. Yeah, so basically that was what Mena had to say about it. You know, it's our final thoughts. Um, synthetic stock, it's nice just to hang it over things, shoot. I mean, it's a working um, air gun, if you would say it that way. Um, if you have a look in the front here, you do have a sling swivel stud, so you can put on a sling if you need to walk around with it, which is a very nice feature. Uh, you can put on a Picatinny rail if you want to put on bipods, if you want to just lay it off something and rather shoot off the bipods, it's all up to you, so it is there. It's got a barrel band in the front, it's got your inter integrated silencer on the inside here with a couple of baffles. Like Mina was saying, when we were shooting it out here, yeah, it's very quiet. You can take up the follow-up follow shots. It's just the noise of the pellet mm -hmm. impacting um, your target. That is actually the noise that, that makes a loud bang. But right here by us, it's quite quiet. Um, it throws those Hades quite fast, 850 feet per second, and uh, it does the job. But um, it depends on, like today, it's very windy. Uh, you need to know your holdovers, and uh, once you do, it's just bang on you just have a lot of energy on it so i would say um for a short little barrel it does perform um we couldn't take out longer shots because i can't kentucky windage uh, in this <laughs> every window i mean you're just gonna waste ammo or just um not have an ethical shot when you shoot at the pigeons and the doves so um <clears throat> it really does a good job um more than that i would really say Come down to pelagans.com, check it out, come feel it in your arm, you know, shoulder it, see how it performs and so on at the range. You know, if you want to put on a scope, just put on a scope and you can just have a couple of shots and see if you're happy with it. Because I am pretty excited um, to get on to the next video. Guys, if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to all your friends and mates out there. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode. And that's all folks, see you again. Enjoy, stay safe.